Hey guys, Namaste Sober. Um, so I just wanted to t touch base with you guys. I know that it actually hasn't been a while, which is great, because <laughs> now I'm actually able to make a little bit more, a couple more videos. Um, but with that being said, I just wanted to let you guys know that, you know, with everything that's gone on, I'm extremely happy. And I wanted to share that because a lot of times I don't share videos and things like that because I feel like I've been such a negative person, especially with a lot of things that have been going on in my life. Um, and I don't, I want my message to be a positive message and to know that like, it may seem like it is tough. Getting sober is like an extremely hard road for any of us to, for anybody to think that it's, oh, it's nothing, it's nothing. Like, it's really not. Like, it's accepted widely in society. Um amongst amongst everything like you know it's just it's difficult um as well as the ups and downs and journey of life it's just hard to deal with because most people's reaction is oh shit I need to drink so um you know with that being said like I'm also extremely happy and I no longer have a job currently and I don't have my license as I mentioned in the last video um and I'm having to bike everywhere but in some sense, like, I have this, like, grateful, humiliating, like, gratitude towards the situation of me riding my bike everywhere. Because, um, you know, it's, it's, <laughs> it's interesting um, when I'm, like, drooling on myself and having to, and I'm only riding two miles and stuff like that. And it hurts my legs and I'm just realizing, like, how out of shape I am. And I'm just kind of, like, laughing at myself, like, look what you got yourself into. Like, that this is where you're at. Like, it's kind of funny. Um, but I'm also like looking at the flip side too, that like, you know what, I'm probably gonna have a great body come the summer, like, cause I have to ride my bike everywhere. Um, and it's helping me to like now not having a job for me to look for jobs closer and for things outside of bartending. Like I don't need to do this for the rest of my life. And not only that, but like for me, I just would like it to be like my second time, like my second job gig. Um, and you know, I'm just thinking to myself, like. My higher power is definitely setting all this forth for me because she has some type of plan and path for me that I'm supposed to be going down. Um, and I really, truly believe that. It's not even like I have to believe it. Like, I just, I believe it. And when I talk about my higher power, because I also want to talk about that a little bit, because um, I see so many people just struggling with, like, a higher power, and I can understand, like, because organized religion is just, like, intense, and basically one religion is just like the other. And I do, I like religion and I like, I like some of the organized religion. Like I believe that the values and structures, you know, structure that it tries to set forth, I understand the idea of it. Um, but for uh, how most organized religions try to say that this God is unjudgmental, I just, I disagree with, but that's me. Um, but for me, my higher power is mother nature. It's the world around us. It's our surroundings. It's karma. Um, and I say she because, you know, women give, we give life. Like, I'm not saying man isn't a part of that by any means, but I'm just saying, you know, we birth life. And to me, she just is a woman. Like, that's just how I envision my higher power. Like, it's a, that's, she encompasses all of the things that we have around us. Like, nature and light and positivity and negativity. Like, I'm not, even the bad things. As I'm sure all you guys know, we're crazy. <laughs> um, you know, but just for people out there that are struggling with spirituality or for with religion and trying to find their higher power, like, do your research. Um, look into it. Because I grew up with um, a little bit more, like, in my teenage years, like, grew up with, like, Christianity. And not that I'm a against it, um, but just, like, really what for me happened was my higher power. It was something that I felt. Like, I just feel her. And I know that she's around me and I feel like, and I know when she's speaking to me more so and like, for me, that's what it was. That's what I needed in order for me to truly, because a lot of people, it's hard for them to believe in something that they can't see. And trust me, I believe in things that I can't see. It's definitely a feeling. Um, but you know, Buddhism's a great, it's, it's not a religion, it's a spirituality and it's just about empowering positivity, um, which is awesome. And I feel like there needs to be more positive people in the world, especially in a sober situation because it's hard. Like, cause that's your go-to when everything, when something gets tough or something's a positive, you want to drink. Um, so 
you know, just definitely make sure that you're searching out there and that you're looking because I a fur believer that everything happens for a reason and I can't think that I'm not sitting in this chair speaking to you guys for no reason. I truly believe that um, there's definitely a purpose for everyone out there and I'm hoping that if anything above all, you know, that I'm able to like get a message across to you guys for something because this really isn't easy um, and I really wish that like, people would actually challenge themselves to take a year um, just even a year off from it because like a month is nothing I used to do months all the time because um, it is it's definitely a, it's a it's a wild experience uh, but I have to say like I just see the world's in such a different point of view and I'm just extremely grateful to be on this side of the glass and I've been saying that so I hope you guys are experiencing that with me um, and with that being said I just wanted to leave it asking um, you know what do you have even just today, just to hold on to, to get you through, to be grateful for, because, you know, there's always light at the end of the tunnel. There's always something else to be grateful for. Um, and in every bad experience, I believe truly through and through that there's some positivity out of it. Um, even in some horrible, horrible, horrible experiences. Cause I know I've had some shitty shit happen to me and man who I've become today because of what is, what I've gone through. I'm extremely grateful. Um, and I wouldn't take it back for the world. So, you know, that's all I have for today. And um, please like, subscribe, and share. And namaste sober, and I hope you do too.